In this video, I'm going to show you how we can use Office 365 DSC to monitor changes to your Office 365 SharePoint online workload. In this demo, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use SharePoint our Office 365 DSC to deploy a new SharePoint online site collection. So I have defined a fairly straightforward configuration that only defines one SharePoint online site collection named Human Resources. This is going to be located at um, Office 365 DSC SharePoint.com, which is my tenant slash site slash human res 26 for today's date i'm going to define the storage quota and the resource quota for my site collection so by running this it's going to ask me for my password <clears throat> provide a password now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in and call start dsc configuration on the configuration i just compiled so o365 dsc demo i'm going to run this It's going to import the command lets for the SharePoint Online Management shell, and then it's going to detect that the specified site collection does not exist, so it's going to go and create the site collection for me. It should take a few seconds. If I go back to my admin center and refresh that page, I should see the site collection being created. There we go. And we can see that the resource quota of 100 was assigned to my site collection. We're just going to give it a few more seconds to finish. Once that is done, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and modify the resource quota for that site. And we're going to be running a uh, report from Office 365 DSC to see if my tenant is still in that desired state. Um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm actually going to go and call the test DSC configuration switch with the detailed um, switch on it. This is going to go and analyze my Office 365 tenant and tell me if my tenant is actually in the desired state. Currently it is. So it analyzed the uh, remote Office 365 tenant against the configuration I passed it and it returned true, meaning that everything is uh, as expected. Now if I go in and modify the server resource uh, quota, change that to be, let's say, 120 instead of 100, it should just take a few seconds. I'm going to change that to 120. Save that. Now, if I go back and rerun this exact same command, it's now going to come back and detect that my Office 365 tenant is no longer in the desired state because the human resources site collection is not meeting the what the desired state should be. Right. So by default, when you're running desired state configuration uh, scripts, so DSC scripts, every 15 minutes, the agent, in this case, that PowerShell console, is going to go and do what we call a consistency check against the remote Office 365 DSC to make sure that it is still in that desired state. Whenever it detects that it is not, it can take different actions. It can either um, log an error in the event log. It can attempt to autocorrect itself. It can notify uh, an admin that something changed, that the configuration is no longer in the desired state, or so on. Now, the other thing I want to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to go and delete this site collection. going to take a few seconds. Now let's assume that 15 minutes have passed. We run this again. Of course it's going to come back and say that I'm not in the desired state because that site collection no longer exists. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to call in start DSC configuration, use existing, basically say reapply the same configuration and it's going to go in and it's going to detect that that site collection is in my recycle bin. So restoring deleted site human resources 26 because that site um, is supposed to be active based on my definition um, in, that I have in my configuration. So it's going to take a few seconds and then that site collection should be restored anytime now. And there we go.